What's up everybody? Derek here with the Bass Factory and on a cold front, sprinkly kind of cold day for South Texas. If it's in the 40s, it might as well be snowing, so it could be tough down here. We got some rain, water's a little dingy, so I'm going to come at these fish with what they like to eat, and that's night crawlers. I came down here to check on this water the other day, and there was a guy that was fishing exactly in this spot right here where I'm standing. And after talking to him, I found out who he was because I've checked the creek records for this creek. And he owns almost every record for bluegill, red breast, long ear, uh, cichlid. He owns almost every one of the sunfish family records for this creek. And it, most of them, he told me, were right here. And he said the records are to be broken because I would have felt bad if it was to be broken, if I was to break it at least. But I want to see what kind of fish are in this little hole because supposedly this is one of the best parts of this creek and this creek goes on for miles upon miles upon miles uh, halfway to the gulf from san antonio so it basically is a really long creek so there's lots of miles to fish and he owns all the records there's a lot of good fish right here behind me so let's get to fishing what a nasty day it is out here well we've got a worm on our hook here so let's toss it out here and see if these fish are active and wanting to eat Oh man, that's a good one, right? It, oh man, get up here, buddy. Yes, that was the first cast out there, too. Man, that's a pretty fish. And I thought these were long ear, but that is actually that's a bluegill right there. See if I can hold him right. With that dot right there, I learned that not all of them have that dot right there on that fin, but they've got 10 fins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That is a bluegill, and that's a good one too. Thanks, buddy. All right. That'd be awesome if we catch a bunch of bluegill today. Let's get this out there. I've basically got that bobber set up about a foot. Oh, we got one right off the bat, right off, as soon as it hit the water. That's a good one. Oh, get over here. Oh, man, look at that. Let's see, what kind is that? That's another bluegill. Another bluegill. It's got that on the back side, the blue right here, 10 dorsal fins. Yeah. I like that I'm finally starting to get in some bluegill. That's a good looking fish. There's one right there. Come on, buddy, get it. Got him. Oh, yeah, that's a big old. Oh, look at that big slab. Yes. Another. That's a bluegill, right, guys? Yeah, look at the stripes the black right there man there are a lot of bluegill out there thanks buddy oh i missed it oh it came back got it yeah that's awesome man there are so many fish out there Whoa, there is a big fish that just hit straight across over there. Hit top. Yep, another bluegill. Thanks, buddy. Let's get us another worm. Let's get it out there a ways. Man, that water looks like it's got steam coming off of it. Oh, that's a good one. Man. I love how these fight. Nope, not as big as I thought. Another bluegill. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, another one. I mean, they are so loaded up right there. They're getting smaller. What's up with that? 
Thanks, bud. Let's get it back out there. Oh, I got a little niblet on there now. It did take my worm. Get it way over there under that tree. Oh, man. That one wanted it. Get over here. Yes. God, it's been a while since I really got into good school of bluegills where they're all stacked up. I mean, they're not monsters, but just fun to catch these little little guys. Thanks, bud. Oh, oh got him. <laughs> get out of there. I'm trying to get up in that junk. Get up here. Whoa. Sorry, buddy. I didn't mean for that to happen. Man, they are literally getting smaller and smaller. It's like the first one I caught was the biggest. Maybe they're hanging on that inside channel. Oh, there it goes. Oh, that was that's a good one. Or it feels like a good one. Man, it's pulling. Oh, that's a big one. What is that? That I don't think that's a I don't think that's a bluegill. Is it? No, that's a cichlid. That is a cichlid. And the guy that messes with these, if you can see that thing, it's got teeth. And the guy that messes with them that caught the record said that he puts his hand in their mouth. There ain't no way I'm putting my hand in that fish's mouth. But these things act crazy. I mean, look how that thing's biting down. It's biting down on that hook. Ain't no way I'm putting my hand in there. Eh, those teeth are sharp, too. Man, no, I ain't doing that. But, man, they are some pretty fish. Thanks. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, did we get? I don't think. No, we didn't get him. Come back for it, bud. Come back. Oh, yeah, we got it. Get up here. Before they run into those bushes, try to get them up here. Bluegill. They're not huge, but I want to catch a big bluegill. That'd be awesome. I know there's got to be some in there. I'm kind of figuring out where they're at as far as a line. If I were to draw a line up in, up in the middle of this creek, they're basically right there. I mean, there's one right there. They're just right there in that area, right out in the middle. And the closer that bobber gets to me over here, the less likely I am of catching one, it seems like. I mean, I got that one, but if it stays out there in the middle, I'm in the zone, it seems. They're just hanging out there in the middle. Thanks, bud. Come on. Usually when I toss it right there, as soon as it hits, it's on. That's a good one. Come on, ski up over here. Oh, it felt like a good one. It was, I thought it might have been bigger, but it's about the same size as what we've been catching. There. Another bluegill. Thank you, buddy. Got it. Oh, I thought I had, I had him. Got it. Yanked him out of the water. There are so many fish following this down there. Thanks, bud. Oh yeah, that's a good one right there it looks like. It's hard to tell, they all look so good. 
but they're all about the same size. Yep. Bluegill. Good looking fish. Pretty, pretty fish. This water, I, I mean that fish feels warm. It's colder definitely outside than that water temperature. Thanks bud. It was a fun day today coming out here and try to catch these fish. I didn't have a whole lot of time after work to try to come down here and just give it a shot after talking to that old man about the records that he had caught down here. I thought it'd be pretty cool to come see what lived right here, but it looks like it's really a bluegill hole. Uh, there were some cichlids out there, but it's a lot deeper in this little section than the other sections of this creek. So that might be the key. And also if you can hear that water running in the back, back there, that's a sewer plant that's over there that's actually putting in hot water. So that's why the water's actually steaming. So I don't know, that might keep the fish good year round in here. And a lot of those cichlids might actually congregate up into here because they have to have tropical like temperatures. But let me know if you guys ever go out with worms like this and just go hit up little spots just to catch a few and just kind of get that feeling back of catching fish again. But subscribe if you haven't already. Like this video if you liked it and I'll see you guys in the next one. Yeah.